Hi everybody, welcome back to the Jojo Lux YouTube channel. So for those of you just tuning in, channel largely dedicated to handbags, at the moment particularly dedicated to Hermes, not just handbags but a number of things. There'll be more on that in a future video. Uh, that was bad. Um, anyway, so for those of you that are new here and haven't already subscribed, or those of you that just view and don't subscribe, I would love it if you did because it just helps me gauge what kind of content you like. Now today's video is all about this little guy. So this is going to offer hopefully what I think is going to be a full review of the Hermes Mini Evelyn or Evelyn TPM. So this is the small guy. This is the smallest Evelyn that they do. They do larger sizes and this is the one that I thought was for me. My particular version is in this gorgeous Etoupe Clemence leather. I have the gold hardware and a contrasting strap in blue indigo. So that's my bag. Absolutely love this. Um, I will do some mod shots and insert those for you towards the end. But style wise, I mean typically I like quite formal structured bags. This is not that, but that's why I don't like the larger size of this. What I like about this bag is particularly with, with um, COVID, although I got this just before lockdown, in the first lockdown in March, and um, what I particularly like this is I think with, with lockdown, with, with COVID, with a lot of staying in, I know it varies by country and what your rules are. In the UK, we're currently going through lockdown number three, so it means that all I've done is walk the dog. Um, but yeah, so I think style at the moment is a little bit more casual and I think that really suits a more casual bag. Also given the nature of when we are venturing out, it's literally to run an essential shopping trip. Um, so I think this is great just for running errands where you want a few bits with you but not too much. So it's a great little bag, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the Etoupe colour as well. I love it in Clermont, so I do love it in... Um, Epson but anyway it's a great bag basically and I thought I would tell you all about it so I'm going to start off with the measurements and uh, I have to take my measure here so this is just like I say it might not be perfect but from base to top will be sort of straight it is basically just shy of seven inches so that's it's about 18 centimeters width is 17 and a half, so yeah, again, just under seven centimeters. And the depth does vary. So at the bottom, its widest point, it is, yeah, two and a quarter inches, so five and a half centimeters. And then at this top bit here, the narrowest, it is basically one and a half inches, so yeah, four, just shy of four centimeters. So that's the measurements. The handle, I've said before on my channel, but again, you'll see this in the mod shots. I think this bag can only really, on me anyway, being quite short, it can only really be worn cross body. The drop of the handle, which goes on the table, uh, is. 54 centimetres, so about 21 inches. And if I go from hook to hook, the overall length, my arms are long enough, oopsies, the overall length is 112 centimetres, so 44 inches. And that's from there to the same on the other end. So that's all the measurements done. I will also weigh the bag. I think that this is a pretty lightweight bag. Um, I'll weigh it with the strap as well and I'll insert that clip here. So here we are weighing it with the handle on. And you can see there it is just 250 grams. So I think this is a, a lightweight bag and partly the reason for that is it's a very simple bag. You know, in terms of hardware, you've just got a minimal amount where the strap 
uh, clips on and then you've just got again just this one this one just normal popper, it's not magnetic, it's just a popper. The large size has a back pocket and I think that would be a handy addition to this. Um, Bez, if you're listening, if you want to redesign a classic based on my feedback, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I can see how that's going to go. Um, but yeah, but it's a very simple bag and inside it is completely unlined. So again, not attributing any extra weight, you've just got suede on the inside because it's just the underside of the leather, so you can see that there all very plain which is good from a weight perspective however and I've said this before particularly on, on other bags as well it makes me a little nervous I'm not gonna lie so some time ago I invested in, in a bag liner bag insert bag or organize it call it what you like I ordered one of these standard felt ones show in let's just pop this in and you know it, it fits it took me a while to find one that does actually fit properly and wasn't just square at the edges a lot of them are square and I thought well I don't want square because the bag's not square how's that going to work so you can see it goes in it goes in just um, at the height I'd want just underneath where the underside of the popper is there it fits However, however, I don't like these great big seams. I don't like um, the feel of it. It feels a bit cardboardy. It really does. And what it has done, and I'm hoping it's faded because I'm not using it now, I've taken it out, is it actually, you can see it slightly across here, it has slightly stretched the leather of the bag and it has created this indentation on the inside. It is getting slightly better. The second I realised it was doing it, and you can see it on the back as well, the second I realised it was doing it, I whipped it out. So, not loving it. What I've always had my eye on has been the 7RP, 7 Rue Parody inserts. And I was lucky enough, I was going to cut the story short, but I was going to invest in some for a number of my bags and then I got talking with them and we're actually collaborating so being completely transparent, these were gifted to me but as part of a conversation where I was going to purchase them myself that's how much I like the look of them and here they are so I have two here, I have one in grey which I thought would be really nice to pick out this white stitching on the tube colour. So I've gone for a contrasting look, so let me just put this in for you. It's still got stuffing inside, just to show you. So that just slots in there. So you can see there. That's one thing I do love about this bag as well. I think that with the um, the cutout where the H is on the on all levelings, it means you can play about a bit and you can get a bit of um, fun out of contrasting your bag with a different colour. I went for quite a subtle contrast there by just picking up the stitching, but that's because I've also got a blue strap. If I had a contrasting strap, maybe I'd do a bit more. But I didn't, you know, I didn't want to go for pink or orange or anything too much because I've also got the blue as well, and I didn't want it looking too clowny and multicoloured. Plus also if I did want to add a twilly or anything then it would just be completely overdoing it. So that is the grey one in there as a contrast. Now the other reason that I really wanted to get a bag insert as well was to stop anything again because I'm not lined. You can see that, that's just my hand. You can see how you can easily make indentations in this in this Clemence leather and I didn't want to do that. Also, if you were to get your send your bag off to the Hermes Spa, which I hope, thankfully, fingers crossed, I hope I never need to do. I really do take care of my things, but I really hope I never have to do that. But if I do, they won't touch the inside of your bags. So it's really good to have an insert to maintain the shape, because also this is quite a, a flexible leather, to maintain the shape, to organise your stuff, and to um, keep it safe and clean. What I'm going to do is I will show you what fits inside this bag using an organiser. 
this one I've got here is to match. So this is actually in a tube as well. And I'll show you what the, and I just showed you what the cray one looks like through the H. I'll pop this one in, which is a bit easy when you take the stuffing out. So yeah, you can see that is just that bit more subtle there. And if you were to look on the inside, you can see there that it just coordinates lovely. Um, also, if you do, you know, worst case scenario, you do have a spillage in any of your bags using these. One, they are water resistant, but two, they are washable. I mean, just comparing this with a felt one, you can just see the difference in the quality. They're just, I mean, I, I'm just, yeah, I just love them. They are expensive, and yeah, there's no hiding that, but they are handmade, you know. One artisan starts and, like the Hermes bags, one artisan starts and finishes these. Each one takes over two hours to make, and they're all made um, specially to order once you choose what size and colour you need. They're also made to particularly fit your bag, so, and I'll go into this more when I have, um, when I show you my Kelly ones, but for example, you know, a Ritorne or a Celia Kelly, the liners are different. So this is made, you know, by an Hermes collector and enthusiast to match these. Sorry. I know I'm going on a bit. I'm very, very happy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the camera angle and I've got a few bits here and I'll just show you how you can organise your mini Evelyn and what fits in case for those of you that have already got this bag or those of you that are interested in getting one I absolutely recommend it it's a great bag it's really comfortable to wear across body it moulds to you because it's got this softness to it it moulds to your body shape it's not too big either um, mod shots will help you on that better but it's you can take my word for it it's a great bag Right, so here is the inside of this insert, and you can see you've got a number of pockets. Each insert comes with a minimum of seven pockets. This actually has ten. This is in the TPM size. So I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to put a few things in. So firstly, we have six card slots. So let's just put six cards in. Oops. One. We're doing this on camera is it's not very easy and I haven't done this is genuinely I've literally just opened these liners so I've not even I've not played around with this rehearsal may have been better but here we go so we're on number four uh, obviously these aren't real cards they're just ex loyalty cards so you can see there that is six cards in there we also have a couple of pen holders so I'm going to put a pen in that side and then in this main slot here I'm going to put my phone and I have the iPhone 11 Pro Maxi I always forget whether it's a plus or a maxi but the bigger one anyway so you can see there filling up nicely but it's still nice and organized and then I'm going to pop in, you know what, I'm going to put in my, my small MS agenda. I've got my pen, so let's put in my agenda. And then I'm also going to add in, I'm going to add in a lipstick. So that is in there. And you know what, we've got a lipstick. I'm also going to add in a small little compact for touch-ups because you know I'm traveling light here so that all goes in there quite easily I've still got room for a little bit more if I wanted to so I could pop in some airpods on top there as well right now let's see if that goes in to the bag I'm gonna leave the strap off for these purposes so fairly full but you can see it 
in there. Right, I'm gonna take these out and try a different, a different configuration. Bear with me. Right, so this time I'm gonna keep the six cards and the pen in and I'll put my phone in because let's face it, we all have our phones with us. So I'll pop my phone in and then I'll go with a small fold up hairbrush. Mine is by Kent. Pop that in there. I'm going to go with AirPods. These are the AirPods Pro. It's a slightly larger ones. Hand sanitizer, let's face it, we all need that at the moment. And I'm going to go with my little small compact lipstick. And you can see the bag still closes fairly easily. And I could, I've still got a little bit more room if I wanted to, so I could even move the lipstick over. I've got a pair of sunglasses here. I could just stick those on top like that. Or if you wanted to protect those, you could take the phone out. You could put sunglasses into that little slip pocket there so they're completely protected. And then you could just put in the phone on this side like that so there's many a way to organize it but it is organized and I love that if you didn't have your phone in there you just had that in your hand you could easily fit in a small wallet I've got my Calvi here or you know your keys you know that would easily you can see that would easily go in. I hope you found that useful for anybody that is thinking about potentially getting this handbag it is in my opinion a great great little bag it packs a i think it, it packs a small but mighty punch it, it really is it, it's quite versatile you know i haven't shown it here but i can also fit my umbrella in here i just think that you can fit all your daily essentials in here and it just you know it just looks great with a more casual style and i think at the moment that's what we all need if anyone has got any questions at all then please do let me know i will include a link to the utterly fabulous 7rp liners in the description box below and um, i will also include there is a great discount code that I've got for you all. So if you use the code Jojo Lux, you can get 30 euros off one bag liner. And if you use the code Jojo Lux 70, you can get 70 euros off two bag inserts. They are expensive. There's no hiding from that. But I think particularly when you're spending a lot of money on, on a handbag, it's it's worth investing in something that's going to be really nice inside. In the past, I've swayed away from bag liners, mainly because I don't like having an insert that doesn't look nice. I don't like having a really nice, beautiful leather bag and then putting something inside it, something that isn't nice. It To me, it takes away some of the luxury. Whereas this Alcantara material is amazing and it does not take away from any of that luxury at all and for me that that is the game changer they just I mean I, I'm just constantly feeling it they just feel so so nice and what I love about them compared to some other bag liners I've used in the past is the, the bag slots have been really well thought about and they're useful I've got a, another bag insert by a different company and it's a very nice it's a nice enough insert but I can't use any hardly any of the pockets they don't take anything and that's a frustration of mine so 
at least take advantage of the discount code and if you if you can and protect your bag organize your bag shape your bag that's it for me for today um, any questions about anything then please do let me know whether it's about this handbag itself or in fact 7RP I'm happy to answer any questions um, that I can so please take care everybody and I will hopefully see you soon for another video. Bye.